Hey guys, it's August the 8th. Um, this is Kyle, aka Vulcan Wolverine. And um, I just wanted to show y'all something. Um, I'm, I'm really tired. They're, they're like drilling me in the back with directed energy weapons, uh, my attackers. Um, I went to Walmart tonight. Like, I woke up. It's like 2.30 in the morning right now where I'm at. I woke up at 12.30, I slept like 12 hours, you know, listening to Dave's CD, but, it, you know, it, the batteries ran out, and then I had a ton of directed dreaming, and just the chatterbox, uh, so bad, the chatterbox B2K is so bad that when I got up, it's like, I started breathing heavy, because my brain could not take the overload of just the overlap chatterbox, uh, phrase after phrase, um, I don't really like talking about the B2K too much because that, that is one thing that people are like, oh, well, you've got, you hear voices, you know, in the room or whatever, so, you know, you're crazy. That's a, that's a really easy thing to describe this on, but that's, uh, that's a really, um, you know, I'm being, my mind is, is being, uh, you know, it's coursing with electromagnetic frequencies and then they're running a chatterbox 24 hours a day with dialogue, um, that really, uh, it's, it's almost like, it's, it is, it's like a physical attack. It, it causes physical, physical damage to my brain. Um, this stuff is really satanic and evil. But, um, I came home and I really, really want to, you know, keep fighting. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys on my computer. This is just me typing in directed energy weapons contracts. Like, so not a lot of research, just coming home and Google, I typed in directed energy contracts, and, and I, I found uh, Kratos, this is, this is one of the examples of the private contractors that are awarded these contracts from the DOD and uh, national security agencies in the United States, and there's hundreds of these, so this is just one example, and you see, you can see their emblem, it's a phoenix uh, on the A, with showing the the little triangle so i mean you can take what you want from that um you know that symbolism and they're hitting me so hard in the back so i'm sorry if my voice is kind of um you know trembling a little bit they're hitting me very very hard uh killing me you know they're killing me uh even with all my defenses it would be worse without the defenses but um still pretty bad still Still very bad. Still trying to fight it, though. A lot of people trying to fight it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try and kind of sit. Oh, it hurts. They just hit me, like, in the in the left of my back, and it feels like my back is kind of going to sleep because they're hitting me in a certain nerve bundle right near the spine, and then they're hitting me in the head, too, with the chatterbox going on. Um, but this is Kratos from Strength to Success. This is one of those private contractors that says Kratos awarded 4.5 million directed energy system contract. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and read it. Uh, June 2nd, 2015, Kratos Defense and Security Solutions Incorporated, a leading national security solutions provider, announced today that, it, that its Defense and Rocket Support Systems, DRSS division, has recently awarded a 4.5 million two-year contract in support of certain directed energy programs for a United States co government customer. So this is for a United States government customer. Uh, DRSS is a leading provider of products, systems, solutions, and support services for many of the United States leading and disruptive technology programs, including electromagnetic railgun, directed energy and laser systems, hypersonics and ballistic missile defense target systems. Due to customer-related and other considerations, no additional information is being provided related to the new contract award. Um, when it says due to customer-related and other considerations, no additional information is being provided related to this new contract award, um, you know, targeted individuals understand this because these systems, these directed energy weapons systems, are being used on American citizens. Um, you know, now other, you know, other countries have other contractors and, you know, this all does kind of flow down from the CIA, the DOD, um, you know, national agencies, but they get these third party contractors to carry out the death, to carry out the experimentation, 
to carry out the directed energy weapon, um, you know, basically uh, surveillance um, and intelligence. Um, so I'll keep reading. Um, Dave Carter, president of Kratos DRSS Division, said, Our entire team is proud to have received this contract award in support of directed energy system programs. At DRSS, certain of our key strategic focus and potential growth areas include electromagnetic railgun, hypersonic systems, ballistic missile defense, as well as directed energy and laser weapon systems. Eric DeMarco, Kratos' president and CEO, said, Investing in and supporting disruptive national security programs and missions, including high-powered directed energy and laser systems, is a priority for Kratos. We are currently making large discretionary investments in similar disruptive technology areas, including unmanned systems. Unmanned systems is a very key, uh, is a, a, a you know, a key, um, uh, I, I can't even think of the word. It's just, a, it's a very a key word that I'm looking at, unmanned systems, because we talk about a lot of this being automated, uh, and it seems like it's, it's artificial, to, you know, automated targeting, um, you know, the V2K is um, chatterbox, so it's set up by software, it's programmed, um, a lot of people talk about AI, so, you know, they are in the development of these unmanned systems uh, that work on their own, uh, without, with, you know, without a lot of uh, people to have to come and, <clears throat> and work them directly, but let me start, let me, let me read that again. We are currently making large discretionary investments in similar disruptive technology areas, including unmanned systems, satellite communications, and signal monitoring and intelligence. So that's sig signet, uh, signal intelligence, signal, signal monitoring and intelligence, which we expect will continue as we see the opportun opportunity uh, for significant revenue, profit, and cash flow growth in each of these areas for our company. Uh, DRSS. DRSS is a leading provider of high technology products and solutions for strategic national security programs and initiatives, including disruptive railgun, hypersonic vehicle, directed energy weapon, and ballistic missile defense target programs, and missile and combat system upgrade and support. About Kratos Defense and Security Solutions. Kratos Defense and Security Solutions Incorporated is a specialized technology company providing mission-critical products, solutions, and services for United States national security. Kratos' core capabilities are sophisticated engineering, manufacturing, and system integration offering for national security platforms and programs. Kratos' areas of expertise include command, control, communications, computing, combat and intelligence surveillance, and reconnaissance. Combat and intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance. That's a very important, those are very important terms. Because uh, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance is what's happening to these targeted individuals. You know, they're running uh, surveillance on us 24 hours a day, and then they're doing reconnaissance with these uh, gang stalking programs that are on the ground. Um, systems, satellite communications, electronic warfare, unmanned systems, hypersonic systems, directed. Uh, directed and high power energy systems, electromagnetic railgun, missile defense, cyber warfare, cyber warfare. So you know they hack into our phones and in our computers. Now this is is not probably not only done to U.S. citizens. You know they're doing this to people uh, in in actual war. Um, but you know they're practicing on us. They're practicing on murdering us and hacking into our computers and our phones. So it's all like kind of war games done on, um, you know, American citizens so that, so that they can learn things. The DOD can, can get information. And then, uh, well, basically the whole military industrial complex can just uh, filter the data, you know, that they're getting from, from murdering us and hacking into our computers and destroying our families and hacking into our minds. Uh, so cyber warfare, cyber security, information assurance, and critical infrastructure security. Kratos is primarily Kratos has uh, primarily an engineering and technically oriented workforce of approximately 3,600. Substantially, all of Kratos's work is performed on a military base in a secure facility or at a critical infrastructure location. Kratos's primary end customers are national security-related agencies, 
So this is very important. Kratos' primary end customers are national security related agencies. So this is a private contractor, Kratos, and its primary end customers are national security related agencies. That means DHS, NSA, DOD, CIA. Uh, so that, that's what national security related agencies means. Um, news and information are available at www.kratosdefense.com. So I just want to read one more thing. Um, I don't really have much uh, editorial here because I'm <laughs> I'm just hurting so bad. But I, I want it to fight and make make some kind of video because we really need to be focused on these private contractors. This is who they're using, you know, to carry out all this surveillance and and all the directed energy weapons, uh, you know, testing, uh, torture testing. Um, this, these, are, these contractors are getting tons of money, you know, from the military industrial complex, from intelligence agencies to do this sort of thing and collect data. So, uh, these, uh, Neanderthal kind of melon-headed, um, ex-military guys that are, that are microwaving me, you know, they get set up in a network, um, like either, either because they're masons or, you know, they're involved in some kind of, um, you know, armed forces networking. Uh, so they get out of the armed forces, and this is the kind of shit that they're actually doing, um, because they don't just go they don't just go into the public sector and start working. I mean, the private sector and start working. They're they're actually nowadays just continuing uh, continuing their careers in the private sector in these in these contracts. Um, see, so let's so so I'm just going to read this. Notice regarding forward looking statements. I'll kind of put it down there. I know I'm not showing this very well. That's why I'm reading it. Um, certain statements in this press release may constitute forward-looking statements within the meaning of the Private Securities Litigation Reform Act of 1995. These forward-looking statements are made on the basis of, of the current beliefs, expectations, and assumptions of the management of Kratos and are subject to significant risks and uncertainties, including risks related to product failure, uh, general economic conditions and cutbacks in spending, investors are cautioned not to place undue reliance on any such forward-looking statements. All such forward-looking statements speak only as the date, as of the date they are made, and Kratos undertakes no obligation to update or revise these statements, whether as a result of new information, future events, or otherwise. For f further discussion of risks and uncertainties, that could cause actual results to differ from those expressed in these forward-looking statements, as well as risk related uh, risk related to businesses of Kratos, Kratos in general. See the risk di disclosure in the annual report on Form 10-K of Kratos for the year ended December 28, 2014, and in subsequent re reports on Forms 10-Q and 8-K and other filings made with the SEC by Kratos. So, um... I just wanted to show you all this because this is an example of what I was talking about in my last video. Um, these are the private contractors, and there's hundreds of them, you know, in the United States alone. And usually, you know, a lot of these contractors will be international contractors, you know, so they work in other countries to do this too. Um, and so, so many other countries, military industrial complexes are, um, you know, contracting out. So these are the people who are getting their hands dirty. You know, they're getting these million dollar contracts. They've got the equipment. They carry out the surveillance. They carry out the, um, you know, they carry out the signals intelligence and testing uh, and the testing of these directed energy weapons, the testing of these directed energy weapons. So listen to that closely. If there's testing of directed energy weapons and directed energy systems, especially unmanned systems, who, like, and this is for non-TIs, who do you think they're going to test them on? There are no, there's no news reports of volunteers signing up to, to help these contractors. Um, you know, who, who are they going to test them on? They're testing them on American citizens and citizens of the world. That's what's happening right now. Um, so I just want to make it very clear. And you can see, I mean, you can see the symbolism in the name. Like, we all know this kind of uh, pyramid uh, symbolism. There's a phoenix. It's an obvious phoenix in the symbol. And um, it's very ironic because this is carrying out the phoenix program. Uh, it's, it's a continuation of the phoenix program uh, that was started in Vietnam.